Hey yo everyone, welcome back to the full release version of Forager. I know people are not gonna like if I do this, but we get XP for it. I don't have any bottles to capture it anyways. So I'm just gonna hit E on E. I'm pretty sure you can capture fairies. I'm, I'm actually not sure. But I'm gonna do it anyways for the XP. We're back here in the full release version of Forager. And uh, I've been doing a little grinding off camera. As you can see, I got two levels. Just been trying to get some money, get some ores, other stuff that we need. Because I do want to make a market. Can we make a market now? We need 20 bricks? Oh my god. What was the other thing we needed? Let's, let's level up first. Before we look at everything else, let's level up. Let's see what we can put up. There's textiles, which obviously gets us boots and stuff, which is armor. Commerce items discarded from your inventory are instantly sold instead. Wow. That's really good. Uh, what was this? Unlocks inscription tables. Something very interesting. Shovels. Yes. Let's go with this one. I do want to get some bones so we can start making good stuff. Uh, we're not going to do any farming yet. Not yet. I'm not going to do that either. Tree drop 50% more wood. That might honestly be good. Unlocks torches. Treasures cost 25% less wood. For instance, work. Yeah, let's get this one too. Well, right. I don't exactly know the uh, quote unquote meta for this game. I'm just getting stuff that just sounds good to me at this point. But uh, I'm sure we'll figure out in due time what is the better stuff to get our hands on. But speak about getting our hands on stuff, we have a lot of things almost finished. Wow, this is, everything's in the way over here. I need to make some more bridges. But uh, we have a decent amount of things almost finished in the uh, museum. Now, what I've been doing recently is just trying to mine every stone and every ore that I can, you know, see and get my hands on because we have a chance to get gems. And I actually do have a gem in my inventory. It costs 90 for a gem, but I'm trying to complete the gems in the museum first. And then we can start using gems for either crafting or selling. Now, what I did in the beta is I'd usually sell them because they got us a lot of money. But uh, I've learned that it might just be smarter to honestly just shove them in here in the mining area because the mining one is actually the easiest to complete it may not look like it but it is the easiest to complete and that's why we're gonna go for it first uh let me just toss everything in here that we don't need boom bada bing we should be chilling on that oh we're kind of hungry eat up the berries are probably really easy to complete too but let's not worry too much about that what i've been doing i've been harvesting the chickens and then killing them because obviously we need the eggs for uh, the collection or for the museum. Oh, we got a cow or a bull. I don't know what this thing is, to be honest. But uh, these guys, they give us leather or hide, which we do need to create leather. Because leather, how much leather do we need? Leather is used for the market. Five. So craft five of these. Is that possible? Yes, indeed. All right. So we got that. We also can now make a shovel, which I'm assu assuming is here. Yep, iron ingots, four of them no problem we have a lot of iron so we should be chilling on that but yeah the goal is to hopefully find a new biome or just honestly expand in general i'm, I'm fine if we don't find a new biome but i do want to expand expand a good amount but we'll, we'll probably find something like what we only expanded three times and we found a chest from it we found two chests from it right and then we got the museum from the other expansion so it worked out either way so we're, we're chilling no matter what happens. Let's see here. We got all that. So let's start making a shovel. Because with the shovel, we start digging up some of these spots like this. And uh, get some bones from that. And bones are extremely helpful. Because they allow us to uh, craft some better tools. I think we can get a sword very soon too. But yeah, can we? What, what just happened? <laughs> All right, well, I guess I bought the land over here. Look, it's the, it's the big fairy. But uh, I did not mean to do that. I have no idea what just happened. Shovel, dig up dirt to plant crops or to find items. Yes, sir. I'm hyped for this. All right, so we go like this. And then boom. Look at that. Got our first set of bones and some sand. I don't know how useful sand is, but um, we'll figure it out. We can dig up these spots, though, right here. You see this? They don't do anything. They're literally just like... Wait, no. That one gave me sand. I don't know. Maybe just digging up random spots gives you sand. Yeah, it does. I mean, sand is good. We can make glass. So it's not that bad. 
but we're waiting for those little spots in the floor to dig up and uh can we dig this up i know you can mine these i don't think we get anything from it and also it kind of makes our food go down so i don't really want to just sit there mining it for no reason but yeah we accidentally bought that fairy island i don't know what happened there i was in the ui i clicked i was on buy land and then i tried to click build and it just went through it went it went to the build section but it also clicked through the build section and it bought something so i don't know if that's a bug or what or if that was just on on me i don't know i don't feel like that could really be on me i didn't really do anything but uh let's go ahead let's branch off into this island just harvest all the <laughs> the fairies might as well you know i still don't have a bottle i could probably make one but uh you know i'd rather just harvest some fairies you know we're not doing anything with magic yet so i don't see no reason to not just get the xp from them but this big fairy should have a quest for us so we'll check that out in a second i still haven't gotten hit i'm gonna keep that keep that title for as long as i can the no hit run title <laughs> i'm gonna start including that in the the, the video titles but yeah let's see what she has to say sweet child let my fairies rest your weary body oh i've been letting them do that all right i need to ask you for a very small donation she's gonna say 1500 won't she i will reward you with the power of my fairies may light shine on your quests okay 1000 is not that bad but obviously we, we got priorities right now and you're not on that priority list but you will be eventually we did donate to her in our uh, original beta playthrough whatever beta version we were playing on we did end up donating to her so uh if you want to see what she drops i don't know it's probably different honestly you probably get a random item i don't know i have no clue maybe it's the same but if you want to know i did finish that finish that little quest in the beta episodes you can watch that i'd recommend probably watching the beta episodes i did before watching this because you might get a little bit more knowledge a little bit more knowledge you know what they say knowledge is power all right don't look at my health my no hit run might have ended uh, I have a good explanation for it, though. <laughs> I walked behind this building, and there was a bull right there. I, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know there was going to be a bull right there? Well, there goes a no-hit run. I guess I can't put it in the title. You know, sometimes it really be like that. But it's all good. Damn, it's nighttime already. What the heck? All right, so we have 370. We're going to buy some land. For real this time. Like, buy land with my consent. Last time, we didn't really consent to it. Uh, it's either we're going to buy this one, or we're going to buy the one to the right. So maybe we should make like two more coins and hopefully that will be enough to buy the one to the right. Because I have a feeling this one to the right might be a new biome. I don't know. I'm just I'm just getting a feeling from it that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some new. We're running out of inventory space. I did get like an achievement or something for having a bunch of slime in my inventory. So uh, we got to look into that. What? That wasn't enough. I, my math is wrong. You see that water shovel right there? We can make that water shovel if we have like some iron or something like that and i do want to make that because that does sound interesting that was not in the game last time i played during the beta there was no upgrades for the shovel but boom we're buying it desert let's go and there's a little obelisk over there maybe that's like one of the things from like skyrim where you pray to it and uh you get like a buff oh wasn't there something like that there's stuff like that in this game so this is exactly what that is then <laughs> see look I'm, I'm a genius all right I know, I know things. I'm one of the smartest video gamers in the world. Uh, they put me on a TSM team. They put me on a pro team, esports team, just to, just to think. You know what I'm saying? I'm the tactician. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be the coach? You know, don't worry about it. But boom, if we activate this, it gives us faster mining. Gain bonus XP for mining. Only one obelisk can be activated at a time. Okay, it just gives us bonus XP, which is better than no XP. We're gonna eat a pepper, all right? Hopefully, I mean, we probably need it for the museum, so never mind. There's no hopefully. Uh, let's finally make the market that I've been hyping up for a bit. We're gonna make it in this corner over here, all right? This is where our market's gonna be. So let me clear out a little bit of area here, just to you know make it look nice. And let's place our market in the back. Beautiful. Oh, we're missing brick. We need brick. Oh wait, you know what? Before we do brick water shovel we need 12 iron ingots okay no problem 12 boom 
and I guess with the rest of our iron, we toss it in here into the museum. Maybe. I don't know. Do I have enough iron to be doing that? Does cat is cactus used for something? Oh, I bet cactus is used for something. But I'm gonna eat it first. All right, so we are crafting the water shovel. I have no idea what this does compared to the regular shovel. It's probably something with water, is what I would assume. But we'll, we'll see right here. It'll tell us. Water shovel dig area increase. Digging irrigates the dirt. Okay, so pretty much for it's really good for farming. Oh my god, <laughs> look how big of an area we can dig. Oh, speak about areas we can dig. Boom. No bones? All right, I mean, I'll take the money, but I would prefer bones. And speak about bones. I think we have enough. We have enough to finally upgrade our pickaxe. This is like the most nomad shovel. But yeah, the pickaxe is like our most used tool. We need a lot of bricks. Holy. No, we need 28 bricks in total to make what we need to make. So let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, we need a lot of stone to make 28 bricks. What the heck? We need 200? 500 no that's 500 oh my god all right i stand corrected i actually did have enough brick it's just i didn't have enough coal i was about to say i'm like 560 that's a lot of stone man that was a lot of stone so we can make it now right 28 yes sir i was about to say man because i was like 560 jesus all right one thing though that i did off camera i did get the vaults right here uh, the storage vaults because i am running out of inventory every now and then optics locks lighthouse doubles light radius in the dark Ooh, that's not bad unlocks banks cut the item sell for more um honestly i don't even know what to get wood cutting maybe i mean the food wouldn't be bad but i don't know i don't really feel like farming yet same thing with magic stuff i feel like right now we're just on like the grind you know we're still in the early game we're still on the come up I might get this one honestly wood cutting because i have been cutting down a bit, good bit of trees especially when i need coal oh that unlocked a mining thing yeah when i need coal it's always good to be able to get our hands on some coal oh what are we doing here i need 16 iron ingots and eight bricks that's what we were doing with the bricks so i do need iron because i did put like a stack of 30 iron in the museum i'm on the grind for those muse the museum stuff man I, I i didn't really care about those too much oh we got arrows from that i don't even have a bow i don't think i ever got a bow in the last in the beta playthrough but uh you know i didn't really care about the museum stuff in the beta and now i'm caring about it now i want to knock it out of the way get all the goodies from it because I, I believe we can take out the mining one pretty easily boom we just got a ruby right there too we probably take out the mining stuff really easily if we get the gems obviously uh, getting a better pickaxe hopefully will help that out but uh we'll see in the long run if we can complete it fast or not all right so i just remembered that bricks give you uh stacks of four so i did make a little too many bricks it's all good i guess it's never really a little too many because we'll be able to use it for something see right there we can use it for the vault yeah the market i don't have enough wood what that's the thing i'm missing for the market i guess i did use all my wood to smelt uh, or to make charcoal slash coal, whatever it's called. So it makes sense. Let's make the mark. Oh, I still, I need one more piece. These drops in wood is just one each, right? So if I, yeah. So that dropped three. Okay. I thought like each piece of wood was like four or something like that. But let's go ahead. We can finally make the market. Oh my God. This thing's huge. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. What the heck? Okay. We need to clear some space then. Maybe we'll do something like this. All right, listen, let me get a bunch of wood. I don't, how much wood is it per a bridge? Because I do want to put it in that corner that I've been trying to put it in or that I plan to put it in. So let me just get enough wood to make like one or two bridges. And then we should be chilling on that. Boom, farming bridge. So let's do this. Oops, I didn't mean to make that one out there, whatever. And let me actually move because I don't know if me being over there affects it at all. Economic markets. I don't have enough wood now. Wood problems. Who would have thought? The most common resource would be the one that I'm running out the most. I just don't think I could build it here. <laughs> Unless we build even more bridges, which we might have to. I almost bought another piece of land. That would have been bad. We can't build it because of our uh, our sewing things in the way. It's all good, man. We get we're supposedly supposed to get double the wood. 
occasionally get double the wood. Was it a chance? I don't remember if it was a chance or what. Oh, I finished berries in the museum too, so I don't even have to worry about those anymore. I can just eat those whenever. Uh, can we do it now? Yes, sir. I said yes, sir, before I even place it. But there's the market. We can buy stuff occasionally from here, like the sage scroll. That's a lot of money. Animal feed, fruit salad. And then we can sell stuff like here. Look, I can sell some of this. No, I have so much jelly. Let me sell it till we're at like 80. How many coins did I get us? I got us a good bit of coins. All right, so we can finally craft the bone pickaxe. Hopefully this upgrade will allow us to get our hands on more gems. I don't know. I don't remember what the bone pickaxe does. I think it does give you a speed up. Definitely gives you a speed up. I, I don't know, actually. But I'm hoping more easily obtainable gems. That'd be very nice. <laughs> so we could complete, you know, the bigger the bigger part of the uh, ore museum. Or the mining museum. I don't know what that part is called. We, I guess we can check right now. It is called the mining museum. Got it. You know, while I'm here, might as well you guys can see my progress on a couple of these things. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. You know, in the long run, like I said, in the long run, this is gonna be major pog. That's for all my Twitch viewers. That's gonna be really good. Completing all of that though for the long run. Oh, you know what? We should probably try and get some gloves. We do have a skill point. Getting our hands on some armor would be pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Bone pickaxe damage increased by 150%, gain 50% more bone when killing skeletons. Wow, that's not what I expected at all. I, I still think it mines faster though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> Does it feel faster? I, I, I have no clue, to be honest. All right, so let's get some upgrades here. What upgrade was I talking about? I was talking about something. Dude, I already forgot. There was an upgrade I was talking about that I wanted to get. Ooh, mining? 40% more minerals? Hell yeah. That's exactly what I want. So there's that. Ooh, was it masonry? Oh, God. Oh, look, there's a hunting. Machinery. Carpentry unlocks torches. Structures cost less wood. Oh, this is what I wanted. The boots and the gloves so we can get a little bit more defense. I think they give you defense. I don't know. Maybe they just give you a passive upgrade. I got hit a while ago, and I can't find a fairy or anything to heal it. Yo, we almost have enough. Should I just go for it? 793 should i just go for it i don't know honestly we could just sell some stuff and we can get the amount you know i do have a lot of gold too i do have a lot of gold so we could just do that also i don't know man i'm sorry that if there's been like a lot of cutting and stuff like that this game obviously as you can see requires a little bit of grinding every now and then but it's like for me personally you know you guys don't see me doing it because i usually just cut it but the grinding is really fun. I don't know. Something about this game. <laughs> it was really fun to just mine stuff over and over again. Maybe it's the sound effects. I don't know. But no, I've just been grinding stuff. Usually what I've been doing is just selling stuff that I don't need. For example, killing slimes and selling their stuff. I'd like to keep it in that 50 range. Probably selling some hide would be smart too. Uh, fiber we could sell. I don't know. Honestly, we probably need some of this stuff in the future. But don't worry, don't worry about that. Look at that. We can get a bone for six coins. Wow. What is that? I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've just been selling some stuff here and there. And it's been getting us some money. Look at this. We can sell some stone and get a good bit of money. This has been the way I've been getting money, though. And think about this. If we get that one perk where if we craft stuff, it's worth more, we can make a lot more money. Like We can make an insane amount of money. I've been leaving a lot of flowers and stuff around. Cause I don't need flowers or cotton anymore. I might just pick them all up just to sell them. I think that's a smart thing to do. But yeah, I don't know the meta for this game. So if I'm doing something stupid, leave a comment, please. <laughs> and uh, we'll figure it out together. If you know I'm doing something that you don't even know about, we'll figure it out. All right, I think it is time to expand. We got 1.25 K. It's time to expand, man. Like wh where can we expand to? This obviously leads to the desert some more. I don't know. Do we want to expand to the desert? I don't know how big a biome is. I'm assuming three by three. So that means this three and obviously this right here, that's still a part of our biome, the, uh, the forest biome, whatever biome this is. And then whatever direction I expand out, expand out this way. Okay. No, one, two, three by three. It'll be a desert. So I think, I think the desert's the right choice for now. I feel like the desert is the next early game biome uh is this a puzzle this looks like a puzzle 
But yeah, we're going to expand the desert and hopefully get some stuff done here. Find some goodies. Hopefully some more chests. We do need some more passive upgrades. Is this? Oh, this definitely looks like a puzzle. Is it a puzzle with the flowers? That's the real question. Has to be. Has to be. Which one is it? This one? Boom. Let's go ahead. Let's figure out what it says. There's a secret where flowers don't live. Where flowers don't live. I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like I did this in the past before. Where flowers don't live. So I'm, does it just want me to go in the middle? Maybe that's all it wants me to do is just go in the middle. No problem then. No? Hmm. Does it want me to break the flowers? Maybe it just wants me to break the flowers? Yeah. Okay, see, that seemed too simple. That's why I wasn't thinking about it. Is that it? That doesn't seem like too much of a reward for my genius. <laughs> I mean, we could probably get some good money off of some of that stuff. Ooh! So you can get rubies and stuff or minerals from that. That's good. Okay. It's not bad, actually. Anything there? Oh! That's what it meant. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a key anymore. Didn't we craft a key? Oh, we used the key we crafted last episode. Okay, it's all good. So we're gonna make another key. That should not be a problem. I should definitely start connecting all these islands though. I just figured out that I don't have cotton in the museum. I swear, I thought I finished the cotton section in the museum. Apparently I didn't. Cause cotton was so easy to obtain. I was like, oh yeah, I'm probably finished with that, aren't I? I want you to jump, but he's not jumping. So I'll just kill him. But yeah, let's make a key. How do we make a key four and two? We should be chilling on that. I did finish the iron section inside of the museum. I'm making a lot of progress in the museum, but I don't think I'm going to talk about it anymore until I, you know, finish a whole section. Then I'll be like, hey, we're about to finish the whole section because I probably said the word museum like 30 times. OK, I just I just noticed something. All right. Cotton is in two different sections. It's in farming and it's in foraging. It's very interesting. Did not know that because I was about to say, I swear I finished it. But yeah, let's toss this gem in there. I said I was not going to show anything in the museum. Oh, well, it happened. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh, we can open this up now. Boom. What the heck is that? Lantern? Provides better vis visibility in the dark. Yes. I thought it was a cool hat, but I'll take Lantern. Oh, he's like a familiar. Look at him. Following me around and shit. That's nice. So, ooh, items restocked. Wow, now I could buy sushi. So I'm going to get this upgrade right here. Dro drops. Rocks have 10% more chances of dropping gems. Increases the chances of finding rare items when digging by 30%. I didn't even know there was rare items to find while digging. Wait, have I gotten any rare items? I don't think I have. Let's see. Let's find a dig spot right now. And let's see if we get something. Just see how lucky we are and how good our RNG is. Okay, that's... <laughs> we got topaz right away. I'll take it. All right, so I bought this island right next to us and it broke my market. It's all good. It gave us the stuff back. At least I know that's how uh, breaking buildings works. Because uh, I've always been scared to break buildings. Oops, I didn't actually mean to kill that chicken. But it was too late for me to recognize. Hey, you're amazing and we love you. Oh, if you guys uh, watched my beta playthrough, you know what we did to these guys last time. And uh, we're just not going to we're not gonna worry about them this time, all right? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to give you guys a little update of what I've been doing. I'm trying to get some steel so I can make a vault. And store stuff that I don't really use as often. So that requires a good amount of uh, iron and gold to be smelted into steel. But yeah, I'm about to level up here. And I've been getting a lot of gems. And obviously those gems are going towards the museum. And the extra ones I have, you know, it would be smart if we get jewelry right here. Gems of 20% more coins. So if we get this, oh, we get amulets too. I wonder what the amulets do. Where, where do you think I craft the amulet? Is this a real question here? Basic amulet. Ooh. Should I? Ooh. I don't know now. Should I sell them? Fuck you. We're going to sell all of them anyway. That was a weird voice crack. 90 for that. Which got doubled to whatever. Or 50% more. So it was like 100 something. 90 for that. And three topaz. Boom. We're just rich pretty much. And you know it's nighttime. Might as well give it to her. Might as well. Thank you. You are so kind. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. Boom. And we get a chest. We did it right before daytime too. Holy crap. <laughs> it just turned daytime as we finished that quest. And, you know, she disappears at daytime. 
Look at look how much stuff we're getting. We're getting on a roll right now. Like, oh my god, more topazes or amethyst emeralds. We're getting all kinds of stuff. We're on a roll right now. The the rhythm of the game is starting to like the pace is starting to pick up. I think I gotta make a key. It says four and two, so that means I have to smelt four more of these and then two more gold. But yeah, I need three steel to make one vault. And as you, see, you can see, I put the market down here. We're waiting for the market to restock and have uh, the pickaxe scroll or something like that. Because we need that for the museum. Here, here I go again, talking about the museum every five seconds. Did we get the key? We got the key. All right, let's open it. What did we get? Fairy Aura provides passive health and energy regen. Nice. That's really good. The energy regen. Oh, God, speaking about my energy, I'm about to run out. All right, so I'm crafting a vault. And I'm going to put it in this top right corner because this is where I'm going to put all my vaults is over here. So let's do it. Um, Maybe put it. Ooh, I don't know how I want to put it. Should I just put it all the way up there? Yeah, let's put it all the way up there. Why not? So yeah, the vault is pretty much storage. We get three spaces here. And I'm pretty sure the three spaces you can use them. You can like craft with them, even if it's not in your inventory. So we're going to put stuff that we have a lot of let me see here so if i have the stone boom i pick it up it goes to the vault and then let me try something here if i go over here and make a brick does that that uses the stone from there right yeah so we're chilling so that's nice that's good that it works like that because it makes my life way easier and that's why vaults are really good vaults 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 however you want to say it all right so since you know the biomes from what i can tell work by like a three by three radius also if you didn't notice i did open up this top left island but yeah since they if i think they work by three by three radius like each biome is three by three uh i would assume that if we buy some land say up here because we need to find an ice biome so i can finish the um the mining part of the museum because that's all we need is stuff from the ice biome oh my god i can't move these islands start becoming really populated with stuff as you get later and later in the game. 1900. I would assume up here is the ice biome. It's either up here or somewhere up here. I don't know. But we're going to try this one. So we need 1920. So that shouldn't be too hard to get. And also, we can craft us a basic amulet. So we're going to craft that and see what it does. And hopefully it gives us some sort of passive bonus of some sort. That would be very helpful. That's going to take a while, isn't it? But yeah, I'm doing really good in terms of completing the museum. <laughs> I know earlier I said I wouldn't mention the museum. I've said at least like 30 times since I said I wouldn't mention the word anymore. But uh, don't worry about it. It's all for good cause. Me bringing up the museum every five seconds is all for a good cause. Look, we can get mayo. Mmm, delicious. Oh, we also have a level. There we go. We got the amulet. Gain 25% more resources. What does that mean? There's like, is that all resources? I don't know, but uh, sounds good. So I should get more flowers, right? If I mind that, boom, got one. Uh, I don't know what it means when it says resources. If it means like ore, if it means wheat, if it means wood, stone. I have no idea. Resources that might mean wood and stone. But I'm not 100% on that. But yeah, what was I about to do? Let's talk to this guy in the top left. There's something else I was going to do. I completely forgot. Oh, my God. There's, like, no way to get anywhere. This is why I, you have to make a bunch of bridges everywhere so you can, like, fit through without having to break stuff all the time. But, yeah, let's talk to this guy. Oh, it's a fairy. No, leave the fairy. What I what I like to do now is to mine a bunch and then use the fairy. And then you get all your, your hunger back. But, yeah, you are just the person I was waiting for. The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. Uh, I don't know if he, he's talking about me. I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. So those are the bugs at night. So we need to craft. Oh, God. We need to craft glass bottles for those guys. So, yeah, I guess I will return back when something interesting happens. AKA when we get 1900 to buy the top one up here. I keep on unlocking these like items when I get achievements and stuff. How do I like access those? I don't know. I think it's on. Oh, wait. Here we go. Feats. Oh, hell yeah. See, look, it gives us rewards. I think you access this through the extras part of the menu. The extras part of the main menu. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But uh, let me see here. Oh, no. 
I have no idea. All right, skills. Let's look at our skills really quick because we do have a point. Physics. Unlock power plants? What the hell? There's power plants. Got the items sell for more. Discard the items. Unlocks banks, optics, brilliance. Gain 20% more XP. Yes. <laughs> this is a definite right here. Why would I not want to gain more XP? Oh, we get our weapons finally. I don't know if we had a sword last time I played. But yeah, we're very close in terms of uh, money to uh, unlock the next island. I'm going to smelt a little bit of gold because we do have a good bit. And then we're going to use this to go ahead and get our get this island that's up here. And hopefully it's a snow biome. That's what I'm wishing for. So we can complete like one part of the uh, museum. All right. So we're going to buy this top island now. And let's let's just hope that it's the one that I want. Come on. Snow biome, please. Just give it to me. I have 1.95k. Yes, sir. It is. But I don't see any crystals. That's the main thing we're after here right now is crystals because I think it's just that and then the scroll, the mining scroll, and that's all I need. Shoot, might as well get some XP here. I appreciate it. Wait, don't y'all drop gems? I don't know. I'm just going to kill one of you. Damn. This boy drops a lot of goodies. You know what? We can actually craft something with this, can't we? Have one of each gem in your inventory. Didn't even know that was a, a feat. But yeah, um, we should be able to craft the next amulet. Oh, no, we need iron ingots. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if it's faster doing stuff like this. Craft two here and then craft two here. I, I would assume it's faster. Yeah, it is faster. But yeah, I don't know how many like furnaces we'll need in the future. Probably a lot. So we can like min max and multitask a bunch. It'll be way faster having a bunch of them. Oh, this is gonna take a bit. Boom, bada bing. Slimy amulet gain 50% more resources. Damn. So amulets are just straight up resources. That means we get a lot from just mining now. I'm about to make another uh vault too. I'm trying to we min-maxing right now, if I'm being honest. This is like I'm being very productive in terms of uh storage and a bunch of other stuff. What other uh land can we buy? I think we should just buy like the remaining land in this three by three. Yeah. So either the bottom left one or the top right. Let's do bottom left. We can get both, can't we? <laughs> we'll get both. No, my vaults. It broke the vaults. I think there's a little puzzle we're supposed to do here. But I think I broke a mushroom already for the puzzle. We're supposed to like hit this in a certain order, right? So it's like red, orange, yellow. I think I broke the orange one on accident. So I don't know if it'll pop up again. Maybe if we just do it in a wrong order, I don't know. I shouldn't have broke it. I didn't. I didn't see the mushroom when I broke it initially. So let me do this here. Let's craft a bridge everywhere here, so I can actually like walk in this area. I don't. Oh, I can't reach that far. Um, that or I don't have enough wood. I should have enough wood now. Boom. No, it's because he's in the way. Come on, bro. You gotta. Be oh my god. There was two of them. All right, so I broke. Which one did I break? <laughs> the red one? So we're on the orange one now, which I think is the one that I broke early. So, uh, you know, actually, I think it'd be smarter if I save and quit out of the world. No, let's save and quit out of the world. And while we're doing this, we're going to peep the extra section. Oh, okay. Never mind. So no, never mind about the hats and stuff. I don't know how to equip the hats and the helmets. But let's try this again. Everything should reset. Yes, sir. Okay, so red orange oh we gotta go down here yellow there's no music it's really weird when there's no music green blue and then purple yes sir now we just need a key where the heck is the music at the music still hasn't came back but uh i want to open this chest before i log out of the world again boom what is that wings 30 percent chance to recover health from killing enemies Ooh, we got the the lifesteal stuff that's really good. Uh, you know what really isn't good? Where the hell is the music?